last few weeks, in particular the distinct lack of sunshine, there is no reason to complain tonight. A shocking new study suggests the lack of the vitamin linked to sunlight could be making a growing number of Canadian children sick. Here's health specialist Jennifer Tryon. It's great Canadian days like this. Researchers believe maybe robbing Canadian kids of a natural defense against type 1 diabetes, vitamin D. They're both very fair aired, so, uh, you know, we load them up with sunscreen and ads uh, when they go outside. So that was obviously more of a concern than, than the vitamin D deficiency. His son Peter has type 1 or, or juvenile diabetes, and until now, he never thought the disease was something that could be prevented. And it tells it my blood sugar. But a new study published today suggests Canadian kids, because of geography and climate, are at increased risk of developing type 1. Rates of type 1 diabetes in countries closest to the sun are between 1 and 3 cases for every 100,000 people. But the further away a child lives from the equator, the higher the incidence. And the risk goes up again when you get north of 55 degrees latitude, about the level of Edmonton, especially if you've got darker skin. Approximately 35 times higher at high latitudes than at low latitudes. Vitamin D is like a shield that protects vital insulin-producing cells. When the vitamin D levels are low, the cells are vulnerable to attack. When vitamin D is gone, the body will be dependent on insulin for life. If we were to provide adequate vitamin D supplementation, we wouldn't see the disease anymore. It would become irrelevant. In fact, those who supplement with vitamin D cut their risk of type 1 diabetes by nearly 30%. Beginning about birth, should receive 1,000 international units a day. But that's a recommendation contested in Canada. The Pediatric Society only recommends 400 international units, with no plans for an increase. But what's worse... Is nobody does it. These Toronto diabetes researchers are frustrated parents aren't listening to the recommendations. And if there's something that you can do that's really easy, that prevents it, then why not do these things? You're right. Every morning now with breakfast, a tablet, especially for Peter's sister. We want to make sure that we're doing everything we can that she's not going to get it. And there's even evidence to suggest if you're in the early stages of type 1 diabetes by upping your intake of vitamin D, that the disease may actually be reversed. Pretty incredible, Kara. Wow, and Jennifer, vitamin D has been proven to prevent many other illnesses, too. Yeah, it's mounting evidence to show that vitamin D can actually stop breast cancer, help with osteoporosis, mood disorders, even MS. And it's been shown vitamin D can do virtually no harm. So doctors say, go ahead and supplement. We're certainly not getting enough in the great outdoors, certainly not on a rainy gray day like it is in Toronto today, Tara. All right, thank you. Jennifer Tryon in Toronto tonight.